Good evening, friends. Welcome to the Mid-Tempo Jam. Here we are. And all warmed up from the slow jam. And I hope you are back and joining us here for Mid-Tempo. And if you're just coming in straight from, if you're coming in hot here, I should say, uh, welcome. All right. I'm just digging around and making sure we have everything up and running. So here we go, Facebook land. We are up and running, live now. And mute that. And then I'll go to YouTube. Okay. Ooh, Colorado Experience, the wiki up investigation. I've seen that one. I love Colorado Experience on Rocky Mountain PBS. Um, okay, here we go. So funny, every time I open up, what am I doing? I don't need to do full screen. Every time I open up uh, YouTube, it, it just knows exactly what I wanna watch. It's kind of scary, but kind of cool. Okay, so. Um, we're getting started here on Hand Me Down My Walking Cane, and I kind of do the Norman Blake version, and I'm um, just double checking my tuning before we get into it. It'll be in a key of G, and here we are, it's technically spring, and for many of you out there, you might be experiencing spring. For us here in Colorado, it felt like spring last week, and all that snow that fell uh, a little over a week ago melted right off. And then yesterday and last night, it snowed again big time, and it's really cold out there today. And it will be very cold uh, tonight, and... Our spring happens pretty late. It's going to be muddy for a while. That's kind of, we call it mud season in Colorado. You all who are here with me, you know what we're talking about. Okay, so we're going to get into it here. Hand me down my walking cane <clears throat> in the key of G, and it goes like this. So go ahead and kick us off here if you're ready without any more ado because we're starting a little bit late here on the mid-tempo jam and uh, because I talk too much on the slow jam I know I kind of start rambling so here we go kick us off in the key of G on hand me down my walking cane a one two one two three Down my walking cane, hand 
It's a come on, Ma. Won't you go my bail? Come on, Ma. Won't you go my bail? Come on, Ma. Won't you go my bail? Get me out of this Nashville jail. My sins, they have overtaken me. Hand me down my walking cane. Lord, hand me down my walking cane. Hand me down my walking cane. I'm gonna leave on the morning train. My sins, they have overtaken me. Well, the beans was tough, and the meat was fat. Boy, the beans was tough, and the meat was fat. The beans was tough, and the meat was fat. Oh, good God, I couldn't eat that. My sins, they have overtaken me. Hand me down my walking cane. Lord, hand me down my walking cane. If I die in Tennessee, Lord, if I die in Tennessee, if I die in Tennessee, ship me back by COD, my sins they have overtaken me, hand me down my walking cane, Lord, hand me down my walking cane. Hand me down my walking cane, Lord, hand me down my walking cane, hand me down my walking cane, I'm gonna leave on the morning train, my sins, they have overtaken me. Okay, a lot of breaks on that one, but we're getting warmed up to this mid-tempo thing, and I took one real clunker, I wanted to redeem myself. I hope you have jam circles that you can do that with one another. I know like at a typical jam, you just, you know, you get your one break, you know, and you don't always get a break if it's a big circle. Um, but at, you know, at smaller 
you know, tight knit jams where everyone knows each other. Like I might say, Hey, give me another one. I want to try that again. You know, this is an opportunity to practice. This is a safe space for all of you. That's the point. And appreciate you giving me one more go with that. Okay, Lonesome Road Blues in the key of G. This is the same song as Going Down the Road Feeling Bad in the bluegrass style. Um, and so the way I sing it is like the chorus I'm going to use is Going Down the Road Feeling Bad. Sometimes people sing Going Down That Long Lonesome Road as the chorus. But, you know... Those of you who know me know that I do a lot of dead covers and I got lots of deadhead friends and lots of deadhead fans out there. So, so we're airing on the going down the road feeling bad side of Lonesome Road Blues on this one. And this is... This is one that... Um, that is in my artist works curriculum, so... I, I, I peppered in a few of those songs tonight for participants in Flat Picking Academy to have a chance to practice what they've been working on with me on that platform. And here we go. It goes like uh, when when the banjo players kick this off, it's do 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 and you kind of come in on the four chord. Um, but anyhow, <clears throat> we're playing this as if, uh, if you're a banjo player, you know, you sh you're gonna wanna know that Scruggs kickoff. It's, it's one of the quintessential uh, must know bits on the banjo. But uh, anyhow, this song goes, one and one and a one, it'll go slower. Four and four and a one, four That's the whole form. Um, and the traditional kickoff there. Whatever, like banjo stuff. Um, but my kickoff might go something like. And I'm just jamming on it. I, I think I have a specific kickoff from the Artist Works curriculum that this is a great reminder of me to go back and, and check out so that I know it and I could demonstrate it to you verbatim. Uh, but if we're in a video exchange uh, on the platform and, and you're wanting to go over that with me, I will review it and play it um, exactly as I taught it to you. So here we go. Lonesome Road Blues, also known as Going Down the Road Feeling Bad in the key of G, and you're going to kick us off. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Hey, feed me on cornbread 
clothes Going where the climate suits my clothes, Lord, Lord And I ain't gonna be treated this way I'm going down this road feeling bad I'm going down this road feeling bad Going down this road feeling bad A lot more verses that could really be spread out over some time, but that was a fun version of Lonesome Road Blues. Miss McLeod's Reel. Oftentimes we stick this one in the slow jam so that, you know, again, the students on Artist Works can get into it. Like this, this is the one I teach at all of my workshops and on the Artist Works curriculum because it's just a great tune and a really simple tune that uses straight up major scale melody and is just is just a joy i love this tune so i keep coming back to it but i wanted to get it in the mid-tempo jam today because i play it really really slow most of the time uh, with with my students on artist works and also during the slow jam so so we're gonna do it like at a nice mid-tempo right you don't want to go too much faster than this. This is not a breakdown. It's got to still maintain that nice bouncy feel. But here's how it goes. In the key of G. To the five. Four, four, and a five, and a one. That's the A part. Uh, B part is exact same changes, but it goes. does the same changes. So let's go three times through. Me, you, me, you, me, you, and then you tag it at the end. <clears throat> Here we go. Miss McLeod's Reel, <clears throat> also known as Have You Ever Seen the Devil, Uncle Joe, and also known as one of the versions of Hot Pie Ladies. Here we go. Kia G, I'm kicking us off.
<clears throat> I kind of cut loose a little bit on that. Like I said, I don't get to play that tune very often at a performance tempo. So uh, really went for it on that and that felt really good. That was fun. Okay, let's do one more and then I'll, I'll check in on everybody on the chats. You're, you're down there talking amongst yourselves and letting us know where you are, how you're doing, what you're playing. <clears throat> and I appreciate that. So I'll, I'll, I'll stop in after this song. And this is going to be Jimmy Brown, the Paperboy. So clearly I have a theme here of kind of revisiting stuff that, that we've done quite a bit in the past. I say clearly to those of you who have been with me and, and doing this for a while. I'm kind of bringing back songs that are familiar and songs that um, a few of them like that one and this one, which are part of the Artist Works curriculum, because I'm giving... Uh, participants in Artist Works Flat Picking Academy an opportunity to practice some of these uh, pieces they're, they've been working on and we've been doing a lot of video exchanges on these and also because I'm in the studio uh, last week and this week working on a new album and I've been so focused on that that I didn't want to do anything that I would need to review or that isn't like really familiar to me. So that's another reason. And it's spring where these songs and tunes that may have lie, that may have lain dormant for a while are coming through the surface again. So, so this is one of them, Jimmy Brown, the paper boy, also known as Jimmy Brown, the newsboy. <laughs> So yeah, this new album I'm working on is an acoustic, you know, bluegrass flat picking related album. And it's been quite a while since I've done one of those. The last release I had, um, my last release, Try and Have a Good Time, from 2022, I was playing electric guitar, right? And there's acoustic guitar on that album, but it's, it's more of a rock Americana style album. And uh, before that... I think Kanawha County Flat Pickin' with Robin Kessinger in 2018 was my last sort of acoustic flat picking release. So it's been a long time. And I felt like I was due. And I said this last session and I'll say it again. The studio is a place of hope and humility. And you go in there as prepared as you can be and taking note of all the improvements you've made since you've been there before and then you look at everything under the microscope and it is it is a humbling little world there so so that's where i've been and if i have a far away look in my eye or i miss a word or a lick or misspeak a little bit every now and then that's why it's it's pretty overwhelming and i wanted to do this tonight uh, I'm going right back first thing tomorrow up to Swing Fingers Studios in outside of Fort Collins where I've been tracking with Aaron Youngberg, the uh, amazingly talented, brilliant engineer who has a wonderful studio up there. And I love hanging with his whole family. They're great. It's kind of like a uh, home away. I've spent a lot of time up there with them. Not just my albums, but other albums that I've produced. And um, And I wanted to do this to just kind of just kind of shake all that off for a minute and just play and, you know, be here for all of you, of course. Um, and kind of reset by just playing songs that aren't those 13 or so numbers I've been uh, pounding away at in the studio. So here's Jimmy Brown, the paper boy. We're going to do this in the key of F. And let me find a tempo. That is too fast. This song shouldn't go by too fast. So we're backing it down. My name is Jimmy Brown. And again, like I'm doing this one pretty slow most of the time with my participants at Academy on Artist Works. So this is another chance to do this a little more of a performance tempo. So here's how it goes. It's just a one chord and a five chord. One and a one. So 
So I'm always going to do that little couple extra beats in between sections. I won't put it in the middle of the verse or the chorus as some do. Uh, I'm going to sing straight through verses and choruses, but at the end of each section, going from a verse to a chorus, or going from a chorus to a break, or from a break back to a chorus, there's going to be those couple extra beats, and I'll reset with a walk up so it's very clear where that is. So here's my kickoff. It would go something like one, two, three. Okay, go ahead and kick us off on Jimmy Brown, the Paperboy, <clears throat> in the key of F. One, two, one, two, three. Like that. 
Forgot one of the lyrics there, so I did the pause. Sometimes a pause will happen just while the vocalist is remembering the words or getting a cough or a sneeze in or something like that. So I know you followed me on that. So that's part of the way jams go. You follow the leader. Um, <clears throat> listen to Buck Owens and the Buckaroos. Any of the live albums. Uh, live at Carnegie Hall. Live in London. That's my favorite. Um, where Buck will wait an indeterminate amount of time and then sing the next line and the band is right there with him, like, you know, paying such close attention. So that's the way you want to be in a bluegrass circle. Okay, how's everyone doing out here in YouTube land? Dave Schmidt is back for round two. Hello, Dave. Hello, Joel. Really enjoying the familiar tunes. Glad you're here with us live. Shout out to Joel, who does the timestamps for us after the fact, which makes it so much help more helpful and friendlier for those coming in and playing along <clears throat> on the archives after this is done, so they can skip over all this talking if they want to and get to the songs. Hello, Kim Harris. Kim Harris. Kim Harris. Kim Harris. Hello, Kim Harris. I have seen The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. I love the movie. It is so dark and depressing, but I love it. It's very well done, and the music in it is very good. Nice to see you here, Kim. Thank you for chiming in. Derby Jack, Christian Blues. Blessings. Sound great. Thank you, Derby. Blessings to you as well. Practically Nuts is Wes, and he's back for more in California. Hi, Wes. Great to have you back here. And Ava is here. Ava, nice to see you again. One of our one of our regulars, uh, valuable member of this jam community, as is Carl Malley. Hello, Carl. Nice to have you back. Okay, that's YouTube land over here in Facebook land. Colin Burns is still hanging in there late in the UK. And David Holcamp in Chile, New Mexico, enjoying the mid-tempo songs. As always, great to see you too. Leonard Greco, the songs that you've been working on. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, it's a good chance for me to practice them too. Doug Butts, cool, very cool. Nice to see you, Doug. Thanks for being here. Tommy Buford in Corbin, Kentucky, playing the guitar. Very cool. So yeah, Leonard, uh, as far as these songs go, it's like, you know, in an ideal world, I'm going to be like practicing up on the songs and, and treating this like a performance. But in the real world, the way it happens is I'll do the list on, on Friday morning and then here comes Monday and I'm like just getting back from the grocery store and getting in the shower and trying to get back on my video exchanges and thinking about going back to the studio tomorrow. And then here I am playing. So it's like, it's more like a jam for me uh, than it is a performance. And that's part of the value of it. And that's why you're hearing me often playing things just totally off the cuff and not necessarily note for note the way I taught them in artist works. Um, but hopefully those of you who are participating in that course will see that, you know, that's the framework and that's where you begin. And I definitely thought those through, you know, very um, thoroughly and taught them note for note on the course. And, uh, and I go back and I revisit those note for note arrangements um, when we're in the video exchanges and, and when there's something of relevance that needs to be like, um, specific that way. But in this setting, you're seeing me usually just going for it, you know, pretty unrehearsed. So, so just, that's, that's, a just an aside about how this thing goes for me and how it probably goes for many of you as well. You're just showing up to the jam and doing the best you can with what you have in that moment, right? Um, okay, let's move along. Uh, Foggy Mountain Top, okay. I was just thinking of, of, of another song that I do in F, and this is another one that I do in F, and, and this is going to be the experiment, okay? Now, don't go away. I want you to stay here. But we're going to crank this tempo way up. This is, this is way beyond where we go in the mid-tempo jam. Uh, but bear with me, because I have a purpose. I have a point here, and everyone's going to be able to do this. 
uh, because I can't force you to stick around for the fast jam, but I always encourage you to. And these are some of the tools that players of any level, uh, there goes the laptop again, okay. Well, <laughs> my laptop is having problems and it, and it shuts down randomly sometimes. So it'll be back up in a moment here. It tells me that it restarted because of a problem. That's, that's uh, my favorite little prompt, right? This is not working because of a problem. Anyway, this is going to be a lot faster. Um, and in the key of F, it goes one, 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 and four, and a one. One, 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 and a five. One, 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 and four, and a one. One, and a five, and a one. Now, during the fast jam, I, I go for it. I swing for the fences. I really try to play the dugga 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 the whole way. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to play breaks that I feel like players in this jam can handle. To give you an idea of what you can do if you find yourself in a situation where things are going faster than you're comfortable with. Okay? So, let me try to find that click track again. Hopefully I am still live with you. Okay. Um, so, in other words, I'm going to be going like... some actual 16 notes. I mean, my kickoff to this would typically go... Right? But here's what we're going to do. We're just going to play half of the notes and stick with this tempo. Do not drag the tempo. So strummers... Be as simple as that. Try to get some bass notes in. You don't have to do a full boom strum, but try to get elements of it in there and stick with the tempo, okay? So that's how I would kick it off. This is kind of going to be a fun experiment in the mid-tempo jam, playing beyond mid-tempo. And hang with it, because after this we'll go back to um, our regular sort of mid-tempo range. And this is what you do if you're in the fast jam, uh, and you don't quite have the ability or you're not warmed up to that tempo yet. <clears throat> okay, so kick us off on Foggy Mountain Top in the key of F. One, two... One, two, three. Some other 
If I was on some foggy mountaintop, I'd sail away to the west. I'd sail all around this whole wide world to the girl I love the best. Okay, so a fast tempo with mid-tempo skills. That's the idea. Um, you want to have that sensibility when you find yourself at a fast jam. You don't want to just sit it out, and you don't want to drag the tempo down. You want to participate, right? Okay, that was fun. Uh, okay, i got to pull up this thing again. Where is my set list? There it is. Okay. Moving right along, we've got Rebecca, and we'll take this back down to mid-tempo, because I know everybody wants to get all the notes in on Rebecca. And now that we've been like at a faster tempo, it's going to feel, this is going to feel a lot slower than it would have. And, you know, most of you who, who hang with me in this little session understand that concept. I call it velocitation. I learned it in driving school. Okay. I gotta get, get tuned here. You're getting that tempo in your head. It's clicking away. I'll turn it down a notch. Rebecca, the classic mandolin number from Herschel Sizemore, in the key of B, goes one, 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 and a four, one. Let's go three times through. I'll kick it off. We'll go me, you, me, you, me, you. With just a straight bluegrass ending, okay? No tag. This very much has the character of a song, right? But it is a instrumental. Okay, here we go. I'm kicking us off on Rebecca and the key of B.
You guessed it, I wanted to get that break right. That's a that's an old arrangement that I had from years ago that I, I just wanted to dust off and kind of missed it a couple times and I wanted another chance. So thanks for giving me that, that other chance. Rebecca, I've played that tune with Herschel Sizemore before and he doesn't like the stop on the five chord. You know, he, he wants you to play straight through that. Old Home Place, this is one for Marissa, my sweetheart, hello. Rissa, she is probably, if she's listening, she will be singing along. And she insisted I put the flowers here. Don't they look nice? And I'm at her place in Denver, where we have blazing fast Wi-Fi now. And it's so nice to be able to host the jam from right here. Okay, old home place in the key of B. That's a that's a D sharp seven, right? If you're if you're playing a non-capo instrument. Four back to one. One one and five. One and three and four and a one. One and five and a one. So that's the verse, and then the chorus goes, and it, it's it's groups of two verses, right? Five and a five and a one and one Two dominant, that's a C sharp, seven To the five and one and a three and a four and a one One and a five and a one Okay, it's a little higher than I usually I usually do this in B flat, but since we're hanging out in B <clears throat> figured we'd give it a go. And my kickoff is usually something like... Ah, uh, let's see, something like one, two, three. to think about that three dominant chord when you're playing the melody. The chord is there. The melody is just... But I usually try to get some some bit of that chord in into my uh, kickoffs and my breaks, but you don't have to. You can just play the straight melody and the chord is there doing that work for you. So my point is don't get hung up trying to get all the changes into your arrangement. Okay, here we go. Kick us off on the old home place <clears throat> in the key of B. One, two, one, two, three. It's been ten long years since I've left my home In the 
two more verses and a chorus and then it'll be your break after that and then after your break we're going right to the last chorus so I'm just giving you a heads up on that song on the slow uh sorry the mid-tempo jam and we're gonna crank it up a little bit to get ready for the fast jam which will start at quarter past the next hour 10 15 eastern which is 8 15 here in colorado and i usually spend a couple minutes just standing up and moving around and getting another cup of tea but uh, then I, I usually spend some time warming up to the fast tempo. So that's my advice to you uh, to come on back and be ready. Unwanted love. Trying to get a little of that little banjo style pull off in there somewhere. Very simple song, simple melody, simple chords, and let's have some fun. Uh, Wanted and Unwanted Love. <clears throat> Written by Don Reno and done by Reno and Smiley and further popularized, of course, by the Johnson Mountain Boys. Here we go, Kia B, kick us off. <clears throat> One, two, one, two, three. I wanted someone. 
someone that's loved and lost Someone who's done the thrill and paid the cost Someone knows he'll never take a chance On another broken heart lies false romance One in and on, one in love To share all the misery and pain Of a part that's unwanted and loved And unwanted in there somewhere. I know you're yelling it at me. What is the next verse? Okay, this is the third verse. I know there are others like me. I love footloose and fancy free. Yet chained to a love they'll never claim. Okay, I'll get the second verse in there next time. But uh, fun picking. I hope you enjoyed playing along. I always appreciate the donations, of course. And um, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to start a Kickstarter for this new album coming up. And uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll let you all know. And I'm planning on being back here next week for another Play Along Jam. But in the meantime, I'll see you in about uh, 17 minutes for the fast jam. Okay. Thanks everybody. See you soon.